How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Are you familiar with a Roy Salisbury? Roy Salisbury? Hmm, I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all. How far along are you? I... I thought I'd hidden it better. How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you.
Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot... the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was... big and strong. Um... He had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes. Like... uh... Like it was made of metal. Do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Gidaves? Gidaves left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Ama um, medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. Don't go anywhere. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. I should have helped Amma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Can I ask you a question? 
I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Satisfy my curiosity? Ah, of course, I know. It's quite a long story, sure. in the mood, mate. Shoo! Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy... Uh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. Now, where was I? Take my leave. What are you gawping at? Can't help you there, mate. What are you on about? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. Have you seen this before? M my card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? What are you on about? Can't help you there, mate. I shall take my leave.
satisfy my curiosity? I wish I could be a help, but I can't. Sorry. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a Dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. What can I get you? After the incident the other day, it seems customers are staying at home. What are you gawping at? Can't help you there, mate. Can't help you there, mate. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while.
What are you gawping at? Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? And how do I fit in all this? Sorry, you lost me there. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. <laughs> you cannot be serious. It's true. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Salisbury. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. Do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. I failed to follow. Are you finished? I have glasses to wash. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? A customs officer, Roy Salisbury, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. If the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Many people are missing, and the main suspect based himself in your establishment. One word to Scotland Yard and your life takes a turn for the worse. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key, go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it.
five shillings. That won't go far. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. Heard of it. Have you been drinking? Doesn't look like anything to me. What did you see of Summer's work here? He was recruiting people. It was like the whole world came through my door. People of all creeds and colours, but always strong, always tall. They seem like workers or journeymen. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. And this lasted how long? Several weeks, I wager. People here are resilient. Tomorrow it'll all be forgotten.
Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Good quality, but torn in many spots. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. Scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. There are a couple of marks on this end. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. This crank saw some use. It's stuck. No one's used it in a very long time. Well-oiled and well-maintained. Fit for a crank. Passage, just as I expected. Wait here, Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there. Where am I? have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? Oh 
only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. Icy cold and pulsating. somewhere else. How? <sighs> it's harder to breathe here. What is that? stairs right through me.
head is already spinning. When will this end? There are two recesses. Trickery is this? On my head. What just happened? Strange stone. It almost feels alive. One down, one to go.
Oh, that is truly revolting. Frozen and pulsing almost like it has a heart. I... did I get out? John? What is it, Holmes? Holmes, where are you? Holmes. Holmes. Are you all right? Uh, fine. Watson, um, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine? By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Something that's finally interesting. Did you hear that, Watson? I, uh... I hear you. His abdomen is severely bloated. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. An American passport, Amos Colby. Old blood stains. I've never seen a pattern like this before. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. This box contained a narcotic substance, 
Much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. A small blood stain, but not serious. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. Deep scratches left in a frenzy. Potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Miserable food, mass produced. Ah, I must have seen this one before. That explains my hallucinations. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. Dumpra, a staple of Lecturemen's attire in Nepal. Gathered from dozens of people, at the very least. Potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen.
Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. Fine rope work, cut by a finer blade. Conductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. Happening, Holmes. Calm yourself. Cannot be. What is it? Oh, my God. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. <laughs> 